What's up, man? It's Frankie. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. May not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock or get into a short squeeze play based on anything that I say in this video. Do your own DD. Look, man, when it comes to GTII management team, retail investors, they, they express their concern, which they should have did. We expect more from our management team. So we had a right to address that issue and we did it. But look, in spite of what's going on with the management team in GTII, in my opinion, the real problem with the stock, see, I ain't selling my shares. You know, I'm not getting out of the short squeeze play because I know what I got in the short squeeze play for and I understand what the real problem with the stock is. See, the real problem with GTII stock is that you got the stock being attacked by criminal short sellers, naked shorters, and counterfeiters. That's the real problem. You see what I'm saying? Criminals are attacking the stock. And for some reason, man, you know, you got regulators that don't want to do anything about the criminal activity, alleged criminal activity taking place with the stock. So in order for you to beat these criminal short sellers, man, we're going to have to have patience. We got to have convictions, conviction, and you got to have some perseverance because that's the problem. Counterfeiters, criminals, bad actors attacking the stock. And in my opinion, regulators not want to do anything about it because see, here's the thing. In my opinion, they don't want to do anything to the one percenters of the criminals that's attacking the stock because it's going to lead them to lose a lot of money. See, they don't, in my opinion, see, they don't mind retail investors losing money. But the criminals, the short sellers, they can't be allowed to lose money. And, and retail investors can't be allowed to make life changing money in the stock market or to make money. That's the problem. See, the, nobody wants to stop the criminal activities, activity because it's like they would rather see the stock being corrupted, you know, and, and short sellers, you know, making money, you know, rather than retail investors making money. It's, they don't care. So nobody wants to do anything about the criminal activity taking place in the stock, in my opinion. That's the real problem with the stock. You see what I'm saying? Like right now, man, at this point, allegedly you probably got over 500 million counterfeit shares of naked shorts in GTII right now. Since, since it's been allowed to go on this long, you probably got that many counterfeit shares in the stock because in my opinion, re regulators won't do anything about it. And here's the thing, man. If you look, if you look at the stock, stock is at 20 cents. Ain't nobody, look, retail investors ain't selling at no 20 cent. They ain't selling at no 30 cent. What you seeing, in my opinion, is security fraud. That's what you seeing, the downward pressure, the price that you seeing is all fake, it's all security fraud. Ain't nobody selling at no 20 or 30 cent. That's bad actors and counterfeiters manipulating the stock. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is, look, the way I feel, I feel like the story hasn't changed with our stock, with our short squeeze play. Shorts are still trapped and they got to cover. You see what I'm saying? They can't get, they can't use security fraud forever. You know, they can't continue to, no, no, use counterfeit shares and security fraud to get out of a bad bet because that's what they doing. They using security fraud, in my opinion, you know, to try to, you know, avoid bankruptcy or, you know, or getting a margin call. That's what they're doing. And they can't do it forever. At some point, man, like I said, they trapped. At some point, in my opinion, man, they got to cover. It's just that simple. As long as the company don't go out of business, as long as the company don't file bankruptcy, as long as the company don't do a reverse stock split and retail investors continue to hold their position, these criminal short sellers, these bad actors, man, they done. They ain't got no way out. So it's just a matter if you want to win, man, you want to get what you want to get out of this short squeeze play. In my opinion, you got to have patience. You got to have conviction and you got to have perseverance. And like I said, man, yeah, we take issue with some of the things that, man that the management team is doing and you got a right to speak out about that. 
But the real problem with the stock is the counterfeiting and the naked shorts. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.